Hello, this is Palmer once again, and I'm back on the Missledell server. This is uh, Neverwinter Nights, playing a game called Neverwinter Nights. This is the Missledell server, and um, this is the starting area, not for new players, new, new like brand new players start somewhere else the first time they log in, but um, other players start here if the server resets. Uh, because I've reset the server because I've made some changes, I've uh, dealt with some spelling mistakes and various other things. So you have some choices to where you spawn in. I think I'll spawn in at the uh, Druid's Grove. This little area here is a sort of out of character area, it's just a staging area. And uh, you choose which door you want to go through. And that basically decides which part of the game world you appear in. So, uh, oh, it's night time. So I'm here in the Druids area. I still have this nice um, effect on my sword. I'm not sure how long it's going to last, but it's quite nice that it's uh, it's there. Uh, yeah, it says it's temporary. It won't last forever. Um, I probably should make use of it while I can. Um, so I have a quest to do. Oh, I can um, sell these perhaps. In fact, let me just check what I've got in the way of... While I'm here, I'll do some shopping. I'll buy some uh, bark skin potions. These are always very useful. And I'll sell stuff that I don't need. Uh, a little bit um, jerky. This is client side lag. Not server side. Uh, right. Um, basically, uh, you can get a little bit of client side lag when you have a lot of uh, NPCs or player characters or NPCs on screen at the same time. But hopefully that will be fixed. It's uh, a new problem that's emerged with the game as a result of uh, new high definition characters being added. Right, this will do. See if I can make this work. So I'm going to go and uh, fight some drow. In fact, I'm going to go over here. I think there might be other people who have quests for me. Yeah. See, I'm cheating a little bit. I know how this game works. Uh, because... I know exactly what's on the server. Very well, I shall fetch this book for you. Wants me to go and get uh, the Book of the Dead. I'll do that later, though. Let's just, in case you didn't notice, there is some red text. Some red text appeared here in the chat window down the bottom. And uh, when somebody has a quest for you, if you sort of get close to them, re reasonably close, close enough for them to see you, uh, you'll get a little message saying that they want to talk to you. Um, so an easy way to find if there are quests that you can do is just to run around and see if you get a little message saying that anybody wants to talk to you. At the moment I've got two quests in my journal. Uh, the Book of the Dead and Against the Drow. So I'm going to um, try and do the Drow quest first. You can hear the windmill going round. So I put some points into... Uh, what did I put them into? Weapons Expertise. Is that right? Yeah, so Weapon Finesse. So that should tell me, if you watched the last video, you might have seen that I was having some problems. I was finding it hard sometimes to hit my enemies. But the weapons for this skill should make it a lot easier to hit them. Because I've got high dex and uh, the weapons for this, uh, or feet I should say. Um, let me just double check, make sure I've understood this. I'm not, I'm not being silly uh, to use. Oh, here we go, weapon for this. Um, character's feet is adept at using light weapons, 
allowing him to make melee attack rolls with his dexterity modifier instead of strength. Uh, which is good for me, because my dexterity modifier is a lot higher than my strength. There's our... Uh, OK, let's try killing this. Let's see what happens. I have been snared and there were two... Uh, oh, that's nice. Well, I'm still, I've am still. i also got the um, flame ability on my sword. Let's make the most of this while I still have it. I don't know how long it's going to last. So, in the last video, um, another player cast, cast a flame ability on my sword. Oh, what's this? Oh, these nasty things. Uh, which is making a huge difference to my deeps. Oh, oh no. Possibly I might create a method for people to, I don't know, some sort of item that allows you to cast to um, add this to your weapon perhaps? Maybe something that can be bought? Might be quite nice. Gold sinks are always good, I like gold sinks in this game. So, killed some wildlife, got where am I? Uh, oh, quite a long way from my next level. So if I cross here, away from the path, I'll come out on the other side. Away from the path. You come out sort of relative to where you went in. Which uh, may not seem very clever, but actually... Uh, it's a feature you don't get on quite a lot of uh, games. Um, let's try talking to these. Greetings. Hail and well met. So they'll give you a little line of text. Um, these guys might just say the same thing. Yeah. And these guys, if you listen to them, you can talk to them as well. Oh no, they just have the same sort of random text. But if you leave them alone, they'll talk to each other. And you can listen in and they basically explain the plot. Tell you what's going on. Um, Asher Banford, which is the sort of capital, have been has been overrun. Asher Banford is the capital of Missadale. It's been overrun by Drow. Um... And it's quite horrific here, to be honest. The drow have taken this place over. It's uh, not very nice. It's quite unpleasant, what they've done. Uh, they're mainly over the other side of the bridge. Most of this area here is largely just to add a bit of sort of flavour. Lots of burning buildings. Uh, I'm going to use my bulk skin potion, I think, at this point. Oh, there's a there's a drill. Let's go over there and kill him. Yeah, this is a bit hard, even with my flaming sword. Yeah, that guy tried to heal his friend, but too late. Oh. Disease. Not good. Uh, oh, a trap kit. Maybe I can use that. Uh, hmm. Is there anything up here? Not sure there's any loot or anything particularly useful up here, but can't do any harm to take a look. Even though I, uh, I made this stuff, <laughs> I can't remember exactly what what's here all the time. Um, I will 
Oh, bugger. Oh no, I don't like this. These are hard bastards. I might really struggle to do this, I need some more more levels. Mind you, I seem to be killing them quite quite okay. Once they've used up their spells, they only have limited spells. Um you know, largely because if they were able to cast spells sort of constantly, you know, it would just be too too hard. Too hard to kill. Right, let's see what's up here. Let's try killing some of these from uh, a distance. All fun and games. Yeah, I don't actually have much in the way of hit points. That guy's a bit buggy. I think he should really have come to help his friend. But um, if the AI isn't working as it should, then I will. Uh, oh, I've, I've oh, here it is. I've still got the uh, fire effect. If it's not working as it should, I will take advantage for as long as I can. Right, do I have any healing kits? No, nope, no healing. Hmm. Should really get myself a healing kit. How long is this going to last? Maybe it lasts until... Oh, I know what I'd do. Oh, there's some people over there already. All fun and games. That guy there is a boss. Oh. I should really have killed him first before he cast all his spells. No, no! No, no, no! Oh, that's good. Boots. Hopefully, these will be better boots than the ones I have. Well, okay, gonna need to pay someone to uh, identify those boots. Oh, a healing kit. Maybe I'll manage to cure my disease. Oh, right, brilliant. So now I'll use my. Um, I'm pretty sure I had a blessed potion. There is lined up. Is that a bless? Yep. Use my bless potion. Get my bark skin on. Got my flaming sword. So, if I'm lucky, I will be able to kill a few things. So the place I need to go is actually over the other side of the bridge, but um, I'm quite glad I went there because I did get to kill that boss. You get some extra XP as well for killing a boss. You can tell if something's a boss because it um, its name is in purple. Um, the boss monsters are slightly bigger than the others. So there's an effect in Neverwinter Nights where you can make a, 
a creature grow and um say the boss monsters like whatever they are whether they're a person or a drow or a, uh you know an orc or a kobold they're 20 percent bigger they're just a tiny bit bigger than the normal models and they have a chance of dropping uh some magic loot now these drow are sneaky they hide they don't spawn from nowhere they're already spawned nothing spawns close to you in this game but they do hide but sometimes I'd be able to spot them because this character's got quite a high spot skill what's this? oh is that her? So, oh, what the fuck? oh, up there. I don't know if I can even reach them up there. Mind you, if I can't reach them, they probably can't reach me. Oh, there we go. Uh, there we go. I'm winning. I'm gonna win. Right, let's let's attack this one from a distance too. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm getting a little, little bit of lag. Getting a bit of. Uh, it is client side lag as well. If you're watching the video, it's not something strange at your end. Oh, fucking hell. Alright, let's kill this healer. Oh, I hate the disease. So, the uh, NPCs in this server, they will help each other if somebody's injured uh, who's on their side they will heal each other and they're very quick to do it as well so it does make sense to kill the healers uh, once you get the chance um, well, this is my last healing kit which is annoying just waiting until I'm out of combat Okay, so I've healed myself, but, um, well, in that castle, I happen to know there's like, um, it's the castle basically is a big dungeon. There's, uh, loads of drow in there to, uh, kill and loot. But I'm just going to try to go through this way and see if I can do the quest. Because, um, I mean, I am sort of, oh no! I am sort of cheating quite a lot in a way because I, I know this area. I know where I need to go. So these are kind of like pets which the drow own, supposedly. Oh, these seem to be a bit harder to kill than the drow. Oh, bloody hell, they've got loads of hit points as well. Well, they don't seem to do much damage. I've got quite a high... Mm, I was about to say I've got quite a high armor, armor class, I think. Um, yeah, armor class 22. Which I think is because of my high dex. Right, this will do. That's enough heals. I should really walk more slowly. Um, so most of these buildings you can't go into. They're just sort of empty, no people. This one you can. Generally speaking, if something doesn't have a door, it just means that there's nothing there. Um, 
Hey, here's some loot. Is this loot? Not entirely sure what that is, what that's doing there. Um, so the idea is, is that this temple is just sort of uh, ruined, destroyed by the drow. So I should take care and go slowly. Oh bollocks, yeah for that reason because they hide each other. Oh four oh no oh shit I might die. Right, let's try and kill this. I think I've done, I think I've got two encounters here. I think I've got two sets of uh, drought. Oh, but it looks like I might win, possibly. Might win. So this is good in a way, but oh, there's a net in there. So the drow, basically, what you have here a drow, but the idea is that they have pets like those um, those dog things, and also they sometimes have sort of slaves like these etins. Oh, there's a drow there. Oh, okay. The flaming effect has worn off my sword. I might struggle now then. So this one, the game is a little bit weird. Um, if something is hidden and you see it, you don't actually get a notification to say you've spotted a somebody who's trying to hide. But what you will see is that they walk. Oh, bollocks. They walk towards you instead of running towards you. And this means that they are hidden and that you've spotted them. That's why they're walking instead of running, they're walking slowly. I might be in trouble here. Yeah. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. No! Oh shit. So she's oh she's a priestess, so she's been healing herself, I guess. She's able to uh, to heal, but she's going to have a limited number of healing um, spells, and I think she may have run out. Hey, this one is some weird graphical glitch. Oh well, let's kill her off. Kill her quickly. There we go. Oh! Right, so a shard, I need 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so I don't have 10. Um, but I'm getting closer and a 
belt. Now, can I... No, I'm going to have to take it to to the wizard to see what's in this belt. See what the belt is. Hmm. Not sure... Not sure I can do this. I'm tempted to go back to the town and try to buy some more equipment, but... Oh, God, I'm still diseased as well. So, I did a quest earlier. Um, which gave me this crystal here. And uh, the person gave it to me, uh, a dryer, told me that it was a key. What? How can this crystal be a key? Ah, well, it turns out that if you have the crystal and you go to one of these um, things, which you'll sort of learn to, to spot in the game, these are portal areas. These sort of things with the things sticking up. And if you have the crystal on you and you approach one of these, then the portal will appear. If you don't have the crystal, then the portal area is completely useless um, to you. Right. Let's see how long I last. I'll get some XP at least. up here. Um, no loot from these animals, sadly. But I get a little XP. I've got a long way to go into my next level. Um, should really have bought a torch. I might not actually own a torch, don't I? That's better. Oh, a hook horror. So this is an area of the Underdark. Uh, the drow basically come from the Underdark, um, but these, the particular drought that we're fighting here have adapted and they can actually survive uh, sunlight, which is in the D&D &D rules, if anybody wonders. Uh, it's part of the storyline in the third edition Forgotten Realm, I'm just going to try to avoid those if I can. Um, and there's a storyline, if you do the quest on the server and sort of follow the uh, story on the server, it does explain what these drow are up to and why they've left the Underdark and um, what they're doing in Mistledale and uh, around the Common Fall Forest. I think after this, when I die, which I'm going to, I don't have any more box skin potions left. I'm going to, I'm going to try resting. Will it let me rest? No, enemies nearby. Let's try. Oh, what's this? Oh. Bugger. Just a pool of water. It looks quite nice here, doesn't it? Nice little uh, graphical effect. Um, oh. So, I've got some green text there telling me I can rest again. You can rest every five minutes um, on this server. You can rest in dungeons. 
uh, but you can't rest when there are enemies nearby, which is, uh, as far as I can tell, is just um, a feature in Everwinter Nights. That you cannot rest when there are enemies nearby, and uh, that's not something that can be changed. Uh, but you know, I don't really want to change it, I think that's a kind of sensible feature. Is it going to let me rest? Yep, the only way I can heal myself is by resting at the moment because I've run out of potions, I've run out of healing kits. God, I may have to just go somewhere easy just to get some loot so I can afford to buy new potions and healing kits. Um, I don't have my bark skin anymore. Okay, let's. Uh, yeah. An amethyst. Um, I guess hook horrors give loot, so I guess they are. In are they intelligent? They seem. I guess they're a little bit intelligent. Um, let's see if we can avoid him. I don't know if I'm going the right way. Oh! Shit! Okay, completely failed. And now I've got two enemies to fight. Oh no! Oh, I'm in trouble now. Oh, I think that drow had um, poison weapons. Right. <laughs> Victory! Well, that'll teach me. Right. Respawn at the temple. There's no penalty for dying on this server, um, except that the areas will respawn. Because uh, initially there was an XP penalty, but eventually I figured that was um, penalty enough. Let's speak to these people. Um, this guy doesn't want to talk to me. What about this lady? I rarely came to the temple before, but now that things are so uncertain, I find it helps me cope. What has changed? Oh, for as long as any can, for as long as anyone can remember. Mistledale was the most peaceful of all the dales. We had the most fertile land, and no trouble seemed to come our way. They called us the Lucky Dale. Let's have a look at that while she talks. The Lucky Dale. But now we're not so lucky after all. The Zentrim have conquered most of Shadowdale, and those are our neighbours to the north. And I've heard awful tales about Tilverton. Down the Moonsea Road to the west, that's across the border to Cormier. Cormier, the kingdom stood for a thousand years. If even Cormier is not safe, what is to become of us? You've got a choice here, you can say maybe Chantier will protect you if you're a nice person. Maybe I will protect you if you're a little bit arrogant. <laughs> I don't believe anything can protect you if you're a bit of a shit. Uh, this, I don't believe anything can protect you. Do not say such a thing, she responds. Understandable, really. Yeah, and this guy just says, forgive me. I'm here to contemplate and pray. He doesn't want to talk to you. That's okay. That's your choice. Um, this woman says, if you want to enjoy the beauty of the forest, follow the road north and east until you reach the river Ashaba, but do not go further unless you are willing to place your life in peril. That's fair enough. Greetings, friend. And this one, the priestess says, Shantia is as old as tall itself. Hers is a divine spark that gave life to the natural world, the vibrant, caring spirit infused with the planet at the moment of its creation. And yet, she loves the people of this world so much that she has taught us how to use her creation to sustain ourselves. It is Shantia who ensures a strong harvest and food on our tables. That's wonderful. That's, um, yeah. And if you go here, you use this book, The Creed of Chantier, you can learn all about Chantier. Growing and reaping, reaping a part of the eternal cycle and the most natural part of life. Destruction for its own sake and levelling without rebuilding are anathema. Let no day pass in which you have not helped a living thing flourish. Nurture, tend and plant wherever possible. Protect trees and plants, there's a spelling error there, and save their seeds so that what is destroyed can be replaced. 
seed to the fertility of the earth. Estu fire, plant a seed of a small plant at least once a ten day. Um, in the Forgotten Realms they don't have seven day weeks, they have ten days, a ten day is uh, a kind of a week. So I don't think I can do that quest because I just don't have enough stuff. Uh, this character can't really survive without potions and let's see if I have enough money to buy more potions. Um, so I don't actually want to uh, identify this belt. Oh, constitution plus one, well that's good. That is a nice belt to have. Um, oops. So I did find these boots. I'm pretty sure they're the same as the boots I already have. Oh, 42 plus 2. I guess we want this, don't we? Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this copper necklace. Let's see if I can sell this. Let's sell this. I can sell these shards of courses, but I, I want them. Can I sell this? Okay. I'll oh, five gold pieces. Uh the poison. God. Yeah, I'm gonna run out of money. I've almost run out. So I'm going to go somewhere easy and just grind. I'm going to try to grind That's some... Um, cannot afford an item. I'm going to try to grind some cash. I'm going to go up here to a, uh, a dungeon I know of and try to make some money. And then once I've made some money, if I can, I'm going to go back and um, try and kill those drow and do the quest I have. So I'm leaving the village of Silverhaven, which is quite a nice, uh, peaceful village. And the surrounding area, which is also called Silverhaven. Oh, I like the way you can see the windmill from a distance. So the area that I'm going to has got quite a lot of uh, bugbears. In fact, I think I'll do the boss. Oh, time to kill this bear. Please don't die before I even get to the dungeon. Okay. Nice little bit of XP. I do have quite a high army class, so um, I should, with any luck, not take too much damage. Like this thing is just—they're just killing me. Well, at least I can rest every five minutes. Next level? No, long way to the next level. Um, good thing about doing quests is you get XP for quests as well. 
So when I can kill those drow, I will be a war. I guess I did kill a drow. When I can pass through the underdark area, I should say, I'll be able to get some XP for doing that quest. Um, as I mentioned previously in the last uh, stream I did, or the last video I did, this character is kind of weak. Um, I mean he's got some good abilities. He, he can open locks which is good. He can uh, detect traps and remove traps from chests which is good so that helps him with the money because uh, you get more loot that way but the downside is he's not so good at killing things and that can be a problem because actually you need to spend the money that you get on um, spend the money that you get on potions and healing kits and so on uh, but uh, never mind so there are some classes which are a lot easier to play druid, druid is quite overpowered um, wizard actually isn't that bad on this server because that you can use a familiar and familiars have not been nerfed let's see if I can rest here familiars have not been nerfed, familiars are actually quite good and a familiar will help you to do your fighting when you're a low level mage um, bards are good, bards have, well bards have some of the same problems as rogues but bard's song has been buffed a lot, bard song is good on this server um, it's more powerful than normal uh, yeah the thing about right let's kill this But the thing about a rogue is it's not that wonderful at killing things. So I should really be playing something else, shouldn't I? But uh, I've started playing this character and I'm sort of determined to make a success of it. There's some remains, a little bit of loot. And he does do well when he lands a critical hit, it's quite a nice big hit. Uh, oh, plus one, I can't use him now. At some point I want to learn exotic weapons on this character so that I can use um, different types of... Uh, what are they called? Um, rapiers? I don't know what they're called. Rapier? I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm afraid. Right, let's kill this. But, uh, swords that do a bit more damage. So this should be, yeah, so I've deliberately gone to a, a lower level area um, in the hope that I'll get some loot and not have to, and not die quite so much. Rogue is actually really good if you uh, with a group of people because a rogue can detect your traps and um, loot your chests uh, if a chest is locked then you can bash it open but if you do that on this server you'll find that you lose some of your loot you would do a lot better if you are able to open a chest by unlocking it as opposed to bashing it um, obviously when it's all the bones and stuff it doesn't really matter there we go, this is working this is what I need to do grind up, grind up, get some loot you know, in that other place I could go um, into the drow castle because I actually did okay against the drow, it was when I was fighting the um, when I went into the undertark that I had trouble 
I could go into the Drow Castle and I would get even more loot there. Well, let's do this area first. Yep. Potions, that's what we like. How much XP am I getting? Uh, I'm only getting 5 XP for each of these. Um, which is fair enough because it's uh, a little bit easy. Uh, previously I was getting, I think I was getting sort of 35 or so for some of the mobs I was killing earlier. Too easy, too easy. Yeah, it's a little bit harder though, the further you go in. Um, where do I want to go? Is that over here? No, oh, I suppose I should kill this now I'm here. How many attacks do I have? As a rogue I should probably get quite a lot of attacks. I'm not sure where to see that. Uh, I think I only, only have one attack. Um, as I level up, hopefully I'll get more attacks per round, which will be good. Right, let's just try going over here. I'll kill you. You'll see. Oops. Oh, this could be nasty. really do with the cleave ability which I don't have. Oh no the trolls come. Shit this is my my fault for just sort of running into things getting too cocky. There's a troll shaman. Oh no! Not sure what that spell was, but it didn't seem very good. Oh no! So after. No, no, no! Oh, thank God for that. Oh no, I haven't killed him. No, 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 no. So having said how easy it was, I've come very close to dying, but I think I might survive this fight. So this troll here is kind of a boss, but um, he doesn't drop boss loot, he's just needed in order to do something else which I'll show you. God 
die. Is he regenerating? I bet he regenerates slowly. Oh no, maybe he doesn't because he's diseased. So that's why he doesn't regenerate. Okay, very good. Uh, stinking meat, stinking meat of a troll, of a diseased troll. Uh, healer's kit, okay, I need a healer's kit. Um, copper ring, okay. Copper ring is no use really, but why am I, am I losing health? Oh shit, I thought I'd killed them all. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Seem to have survived that easily enough. Um, and there's some loot in here. I'll try to rest here as well. So this is actually the troll's lair, but um, it came out to find me. Um, just going to leave that. The mobs do help each other sometimes. So if one of them is uh, in combat, uh, the others might come running to try to help it, which is one reason to try to be a little bit careful. Right, let's try resting. So I came here really to get this meat. I'm going to use a meat. Um, oh God! All right, let's see if I can heal. But I've still got this strength decreased. Shit! I'm going to have to go to a healer and hope that they will heal me. If I if I looted this. Yeah. At least, where is it gone? Ah, I thought I saw one over there, but maybe not. Um. So getting that meat will allow me to. Oh, it's uh, the cow traps damaging me. Allow me to advance in a uh, further area. Now the whole reason I came here was to try to make some money, but of course um, I ended up using up loads of potions just then. So it may not have been very successful. Uh, still not very close to levelling. Not entirely sure if I can get the cleaver ability. I guess I probably can. Um, cleave on this server is quite useful because, as you can see, it's pretty common to be facing a large number of enemies. And if you're smart, if you're careful, which I'm too sort of lazy to to be. Um, you can you know you can ensure or not ensure but you can sort of generally speaking uh only fight one or two at a time um and if you're impatient and you sort of run into danger like i tend to do i've done this one then you can easily find yourself fighting a lot i'm pretty sure i've done that you can find yourself fighting a lot of enemies at one time so don't be impatient, be careful. And it will pay off. Right, so I'm going to go to um, a sort of dungeon area, which I know exists over here.
possibly you might even see the reason why I need to demeet the stinking, stinking troll meat. Oh, that's not nice. I'm able to rest at this point. No, cannot rest again for two minutes. Fine. I mean, I probably shouldn't say this, but seeing as I've got the um, the meat, it doesn't even really matter if I die. I can just come back. Potion of curious serious means. Okay. I guess that's enough to um, bring him back up to full health. He, he just doesn't have much in the way of hit points. I thought he had a potion of heal there. I was just wondering why uh, a low level monster like that had a potion of heal. But no, it's just um, whatever it was. Curious serious means or something. Yay, 10 hit points. Okay, I can now rest. Uh, that bear is not an enemy. Yeah. Well, apparently there are enemies nearby. What about over here? Ah. Oh. Dire Badger doesn't like me. So, a lot of the animals on this server are not automatically hostile. Um, they'll decide when they can see you whether or not to become hostile and that will depend on your animal empathy skill so you don't have to use the animal empathy skill that as you'll know if you've played Neverwinter Nights using the animal empathy skill means that you try to charm an animal try to dominate an animal um, which you can do that too that works on your server but in addition uh, many animals will automatically evaluate you if they see you and uh, become hostile if they don't like you or just leave you alone if they do like you. So this bear, let's go near this bear. Oh, it's seen me. It doesn't like me because I'm a rogue. I'm not a ranger or a druid and I have no animal empathy skill. Um, don't want to get too close to those. Right, so here's a dungeon that I mentioned. Let's go in here and see if we can get some loot. Uh, the reason my nameplate keeps on showing up is because I'm pressing the tab key. Uh, the tab key will... Where am I going? The tab key will show you uh, if there's anything that you can select nearby which includes... guess what? It includes loot. I'm a bit lost. I'm not entirely sure where I'm going. Oh, there I am. Oh, an actual rat. It's not even a dire rat. Oh, shit. You see, this is what I'm talking about. This is because I just ran straight in without taking care. Yeah. 
maybe that rat should be a dire rat, or at least it should say like giant rat. You know, I think the name of that rat should be giant rat. I'm not sure a normal rat is meant to be able to damage a brave uh, warrior like me, or even a brave rogue. At least it's easy to kill. Right, let's let's try going this way, and we will. I'll kill you. You'll see. No, no, no! Avoid the cow traps. Yeah, if they hear something going on, they will. Um, They will investigate a noise. So this is a, one of the things about this game, um, or about this particular server. If you take a long time fighting something, you may find that more monsters appear um, and the reason they appear oh this is nice it's uh, same with this trap the reason the monsters appear is because they've heard the conflict taking place and they come to investigate right both trapped and locked which is good because it means it will have there we go lots of light items tank of a bag not sure how valuable these items are, but they can't do any harm. Um, let's go down here and see if there's any loot in these rooms. No, just one of these. What am I getting? Uh, 10 XP for killing these. That's not too bad. Oh, there's another one there. This is quite good. You can't get through the door. That's fine. I guess that's kind of realistic, is it? I don't know. Oh, he's a hobgoblin, a hobgoblin warg master. So that's why he has uh, doggies. Well, this one. There's a wall master, wall master too, I'm not sure where his dog is. Oh, there it is. Right. Bit of a pathing issue here. But uh, I'm not complaining. So the dog, I guess, is out there. It hasn't been uh, disturbed. Let's see if I can get it from here. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, nice and easy to kill. Let's kill this. Oh, a shaman. Good, 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 good. Okay, so hopefully if I go this way, there might be some traps oh, around here as well. Ah, there we go, there's a trap. I have to make sure I don't auto path onto it when I'm killing this thing. Let's go over here. Mm. 
good thing about traps is uh, disable trap you get some XP on this server for disabling a trap 30 XP I got for that in fact the whole group will get XP if you have a rogue in your party well anybody who can disable traps actually someone in your party who can disable a trap So the bugbears are slightly harder to kill than the hobgoblins. They're all sort of living together. I think uh, the bugbears are in charge. Yeah, see this one has heard the sound of combat and come to investigate. Even though it didn't see me um, initially. I didn't aggro it, so to speak. Um, if it's in the neighbouring room and it hears combat, it will come and uh, investigate. A little bit of loot. Uh, oh, another one. Oh, I'm so desperate for XP. I just think it's going to be so much easier to do the quest I want to do if I uh, gain the level. Okay. Oh, bugger. Oh, that's what you get for running. Instead of taking it easy. No loot here. Oh, yeah, they're also. <laughs> um, although, I'm not sure the rats should have quite so much uh, intelligence. Um, but if you trigger a trap, that actually makes a noise and uh, enemies will come and investigate. Um, dire rat, well I don't know, I guess these are particularly intelligent rats. So let's disable this trap. So yeah, there's some real advantages to not setting off traps. Uh, oh. If you don't set off a trap, you get some XP if you uh, disarm it. Yeah, it looks like this can just be opened. See, this is much less loot than the um, chest I found previously. If a chest is locked and trapped, and that's a good sign. It means you're going to get more stuff. Can I rest? Mm, possibly a mistake, though, because I've uh, lost my bark skin. Yeah, you get XP for disarming a trap. If you set off a trap, you not only, you know, potentially get damaged or whatever the trap's going to do to you, um, it also makes a noise and enemies will come and investigate. What's this? Lovely. Right, so we go around the other side. Um, look for... Any loot? Where am I on the map? I can't even see myself. It might be down this end. Yeah, again, see, this one has heard a noise. It hasn't seen me. If it had seen me, it would be running. Um. But given that it's just investigating a noise it's heard, it just sort of walks over slowly. Oh, that's quite nice. I didn't know that the uh, dogs made that howling noise. Right, I know there's more monsters there, but let's go in here, get this chest first. Fun and games. 
Hey. Oh, I don't like the look of these. Look, there's loads of them. Maybe I can pick them off one by one. Gonna kill the shaman first if I can. Do need to do some work on the AI, the others should not really just be. Yeah, now they're coming because they've heard something happening. This one you see is coming. That's what I've just done. Okay, let's try. Oh, we better kill this, I guess. Oh, what was that? Oh, he used uh, an acid flask. Um, yeah, sometimes intelligent monsters, um, they can get loot. Um... But if the game spawns loot on them that they can use, then they might attempt to use that loot in combat. Um, which is fine, I think it's all the best for the game. So, they have a small chance of... Um, I mean, there are monsters that have, or enemies that have, healing potions deliberately. But then a lot of stuff has um, a small chance of having a healing potion just sort of randomly and if they do have one then they might um, attempt to use it and in that case they used a grenade weapon I'll kill you. You'll see. okay so I'm not doing too badly in terms of getting loot um, and I'm going to go down here and look for some more. The battle is on. Oh. oh dear. I don't like this. Oh no! Something behind me. Um, because my guy has uh, the ability to tumble, he's able to sort of move around without provoke. Well, without always provoking attacks of opportunity. Oh shit! which is why he's able to move around and uh, switch targets quite a lot. Uh, with other classes that would probably be a bad idea because you just uh, become victim to lots of attacks of opportunity. Um, right, can I rest? Am I allowed to rest at this point? Yes! Maybe I'll even use a healer's kit. Constitution decrease. Oh no. God, this is a nightmare. Um, I'm not sure if that's permanent or temporary. Uh, the priestess will heal me. 
I get a hurt. Oh, there's a shaman. I should have killed him first. Doesn't seem to be doing much. Yep, good stuff. Kept on interrupting his spells. Oh, I should get some decent. Uh, she would have sell all this for a decent amount of coin. What's here? Oh, a box. Hmm, got quite a few. Uh, Acid flask. Oh, have I done all three? I guess I have done all three rooms. Okay, that's great. So I will just try and go and kill the boss now if I possibly can. I'm going in the right direction. Um, um No, I'm heading for the exit. Right, if I can remember how to do it, I'm just going to try to make my way to the boss. Because I know that there's more loot uh, where the boss is. So this area is actually for a quest, but I've done the quest. But there's nothing to stop you coming back here and just sort of treating it like a, a normal dungeon and trying to grind up a little bit. doing? Where am I going? Um, south. Here we go. There's some... Um, there's a part of loot over there. Let's do this and then I'll return and kill the other bugbear. Potion of Bless might be useful. Oh, yeah, so he had a grenade item. Um, I mean, that just spawned sort of randomly in his uh, inventory. There was a chance for that to happen. And uh, intelligent creatures, oh, is that bark skin? That's going to be so useful. Can sometimes choose to use them. If he hadn't used it, um, it would have been there waiting for me, which would have been quite nice to loot. Ah, a chest. Lovely. Gonna wait a bit. Sometimes these chests are trapped and it makes sense to uh, just wait a moment and see if uh, you detect a trap. Oops.
too slow, too slow. This uh There we go, use a bark skin potion. Um bark skin is really useful if you are like I am a little bit weak, a little bit weak. Come on, oh no! Ah, oh, we like it, yep. <laughs> Just double check there, there's no leak down here. Uh, oh, is there some? No. Ah, better is here. That's what we like. Check for traps. No. Wow, lots of acid flasks. Uh, the boss room, from what I can recall, has got a lot of uh, a lot of chess in it. Don't die, please don't die. And I want to go and get those chests. Ah, oh, shit. Come on, kill, kill, kill. Is that one with a crossbow sort of doing me particular harm? Ah, oh, there we go. I think he's pretty nasty, the bugbear with a crossbow seems to be quite good at killing me. Oh no! Come on, come on, come on. Right, kill this, I guess. This should die quite easily. Here we go. Ah! So he swaps from his uh, crossbow to his big sword when I get close, which is good. At least that element of the AI is working. Big hit, big damage. Do you have any more bark skins? I do. Do I want to use them? Let's try using some cure light wounds. Alright. That uh that probably did the trick for now. Uh, sometimes books, intelligent creatures, I uh, bugbear I guess is fairly intelligent, will drop books. Um, and these give you some sort of flavour, some background to the uh, server setting. Tells you a little bit about the area and the people who live there. That was a book about Sembia, which is uh, a merchant nation. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't like him when he have the big sword. They do loads of damage. Oh, oh, oh. oh no. Oh. Bloody hell.
This may turn bad. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, I've got one barkskin potion left. I'm going to try resting and then I'm going to use my barkskin potion. Okay, this guy is. Has he seen me? No, he's just having a wander. Where am I going? Mm, I can't remember. The battle is on. There we go. Let's see if I can rest here. Okay. Get my health back. Use one more. My final bark skin potion. And hope I don't die. Um can't actually remember which way to go. Pretty sure I need to go this way. I like these doggies because the doggies are quite easy to kill. Right. Um, let's try and get him one from a distance. Okay. Oh, what's he? Oh, I see. I thought he'd sort of spawned in a very strange place, but um, yeah, I can reach him from here. There we go. Yeah, big damage. Okay. So, I'm going to go over this way and kill this doggy. Oh, that was easy. Do this chest. Oh, that's nice, that's nice. All this stuff, that's nice. Um, I'll kill you! Now, this giant dog here, there's nothing to stop me attacking it, but, um, 
is it possible that would be quite a bad idea perhaps what if I just try to use the door can I open the door while a wall guards it okay paper sheet on a note by the feeding bowl of the words feed this wall fresh meat only ah well what about the uh, horrible stinky meat that I got from the um, disease troll earlier. Let's see if I put this in there, what happens. Warg wakes up, eats some meat, and it becomes a diseased warg. You. Much easier to kill. So that's why I needed the troll meat. Um, and now in I go. Time to kill this. Let's, let's try using this. In fact, we've got some more. Let's do this again. Okay, that seems to have, I don't know, removed maybe half his life. Oh, he's quite hard to kill. So this is a boss, he's got a purple name, that means he's a boss. And he's slightly taller than a normal uh, bugbear. Um, and you notice he's got more hit points. And if I kill him, I should get some bonus XP. I mean, I get more XP than I would for killing a normal mob. There we go. 40! 40, 40 XP. Um, which is, I don't know what I was getting for killing the other ones, but it's less than 40. Chance it's some magic loot. Let's see if I have any luck. Oh, there we go, nice. Let's see if I can examine it. Nope, I can't identify it. I'll need to take it to the, the wizard. And chests. Lots of lovely chests in this room. Oh, not much in that one, but uh, I'll go around this way, I suppose. Uh, oh, a trap, which is good. Trapped chests have more loot. So I'm very pleased that it's a trapped chest. Um, there we go. A bit more loot than the average uh, chest. Right, so I've gone and got myself some loot. I'm now going to use my stone of recall which is an item I got from a quest you don't get this immediately in the game um, you have to earn it, you have to do a quest to get it but it takes you back to the main village and it's quite handy, it's got a cooldown as well, you can only use it once so I don't know, once every... well can you? Yeah, once per day. I um, can't remember how long a day is in this game. I think it, I think each day is about an hour or something. Um, so you can't use it that often. But basically, once you've reached the end of a dungeon, you know you should be able to use it. Let's see if she will cure my negative effects. I am injured. Can you help me? Yeah, thank you. So she, uh, yeah, I think they will. So she deletes uh, all my negative effects and also heals me, which is nice. If you're playing solo and you don't have, um, you know, a cleric or someone to help you, then at least you can come here and uh, she will help you. Uh, I'd like to see what we have for sale, please. Um, actually, I don't want to do that. I just want to um, sell you things. I don't think I need those, if I'm honest. 
Uh, silence. Uh, might as well sell my dies. Not that I'm going to get much for them. Ah, oh, 16. That's better than nothing. Uh, let's get into my tangle of bags. sell these. I think I will sell these. Even though I could use them. I think I need the gold more. Um, let's uh, see what this is. Oh, dexterity plus one. Oh, this brings my dex bonus up to six. I think I... quite like having that. I think having uh, massive dexterity helps me more than having a little bit of extra armour, so I'm going to keep that. still quite poor. I still think I've probably got less gold than when I started. <laughs> um, but never mind. Having said that, I think I've probably made a couple of thousand gold on this trip. I've got some healing kits which I haven't used. There, that's it, so what I've got here. Let's uh, get my potions together. Get these here too. Um, four potions of moderate, one potion of cure light, two potions of bless. Well, that's not too bad, and I could probably use some more. Are there any stone skins? No. Um, look, <laughs> that takes up most of my gold, buying the bark skin patients. Oh well. Maybe I should just play a, a better character. One that doesn't need to use so many patients. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more of these. I need to buy one of these scrolls at some point. So if I manage to get 10 of these shards of Karsus and um, I can buy a scroll of minor enchantment as well, then I will be able to enchant my, well I have a choice, the leather armour or one of these swords. I think I'll probably go for a sword to help me do more damage. Um, so I think that's it for this stream. Um, next time I'm going to try again looking a little bit closer to leveling. I've got a little bit more power now. My dexterity is up even higher. 
so I've got a bonus of six for all sorts of things um, yeah I'm gonna go and try and uh, do the uh, drow quest next time I play but for now uh, I'm done thank you very much indeed for joining me and uh, don't forget you can find the uh, Mistledale server um, in Neverwinter Nights EE and uh, feel free to pop on and uh, give Mistledale a try it's uh, very easy to join, you don't need to, to download anything you can just play immediately give it a go, try it out and um, it's even better if you can convince a friend to play with you thank you very much and see you later